everybody, I'm Chris. It's time for the weekend ticket. First up this week, it's Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, a sequel to 2007 smash hit Transformers. Really, all you need to know about this one, uh, it's directed by Michael Bay, so that means it's going to be really long and a lot of stuff is going to explode. There are giant transforming robots, some of which will kill you, and Megan Fox is going to wear basically a piece of dental floss. We've kept much from you, Sam. This isn't my war. I fear it soon will be. You see what I mean there? I mean, she's not wearing any clothes. That's like, she might as well be dressed. She's like a stripper in that clothes. Uh, next up, we have My Sister's Keeper. If you are a girl and you like crying and or The Notebook, you should see this movie. It's based on a best-selling novel directed by Nick Cassavetes, who directed The Notebook. It stars Cameron Diaz as a mom who has a sick daughter with leukemia, and she genetically engineers another daughter so that that daughter can live. It gets very confusing and very sad and you should be wise if you see this to bring a bunch of tissues. I want to see my parents for the rights to my own body. Would you repeat that, please? What's going on? Anna, you're suing us? I don't want to do it anymore, Mom. It's my body. I want to be able to make my own decisions about what to do with it. And last up this week, it's The Hurt Locker from director Catherine Bigelow, who directed Point Break many years ago. Uh, this one looks pretty kick-ass. It's an Iraq war movie, but it's not like a regular Iraq war movie because there's not a lot of preaching. It's just a bunch of loaded action about a bomb defusal group in Iraq, and uh, the thing just looks pretty crazy. I would suggest seeing this immediately. I was scared. Yeah? Well, everyone's a coward about something. That's your weekend ticket. Thanks for watching. For more entertainment news, visit airamerica.com. I'm Chris, and I'll see you next week.